Not yet. Oh, it's live And now. one. And scene. And scene. No, scene would be we were done. Oh, yep. is that what it is? What do you do? And action. And action. <laughs> it's rolling. It's rolling. Okay, so hello everybody. It is... What is it? Wacky Wednesday. It's Wacky Wednesday? Q&A Wednesday. We didn't answer your questions last time, so... If any, this is a camera, by the way, if anybody doesn't know what this and he's is. he's just going to keep doing that. I'm rolling. And this man behind the camera is Billy Rockcamp. Hi, I'm Billy Rockcamp, and uh, my last name is R-O-T-T-K-N-P. And, and is it Mary, Mary P. is and Paul. Paul. And I am Tina. She is Tina Marie. She doesn't spell it, though. So we can't do no, that. No, we're not going to spell it. No. You we know, don't spell you know? it. You just got to know it. Because that's somebody right there that you should know. And you know what? We have no idea what to talk about. No, we have a couple of things. But, I'm uh, just kidding. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's just a couple of things. That's all it is. Well, no. It's just uh, sometimes you have to enter the bizarro world. Bizarro. Wow. I would have thought it was bizarre, but bizarro, bizarro world is even better. Is bizarro even... world is like you jump in. It's like a tornado effect. And you know, you know what? The bizarro world is just a fun place. <laughs> it's a fun place. It's a fun place because Where's, who's in anything there? can happen. Anything. It's magical. And um, it's just uh, it's, it's a good time. It's the, fa- <laughs> <laughs> it's the fairy tale world. You know what, though? Fairy tale makes it seem like it's not real. And this is real. Wow. Well, there you go. So, and that's where I am. And how do you guys go into the Bavaro? What is it called again? Bizarro. I was going to call it the Bavaro world. No, but isn't this really, um, isn't, it, isn't it a real comic book thing? Or oh. is that just something my ex-husband I, told me? Oh, he I He used to always good. say the Bizarro world was the opposite of this world. Really? I just, you know, I don't know. Anybody out there know? I, I don't I, I'm having fun in it, though. Well, I don't know. Because, but, yeah. I just want to <laughs> ask you guys, when you go into the Bizarro world, is it easy for you to just open up a door and you jump right in? And everything feels great and it, magical? It, it should be. It should be. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's not that it should be. It is. Yes. It's done to you as you believe. You know. Jesus said that. Yeah. Mr. Master Jesus, it is done unto you as you believe. So yeah. what do you believe? What, what are you believing in? Look at what's happening in your life. That's how you know where your beliefs are. It's true. Carol, oh my God, thank you. My ex-husband is obsessed it with is Batman. It is a Batman thing. Oh, so thank right. you. The minute yeah. you said Batman thing, wow. I want to hear Rafi just scream. I, I did. My cats. Oh, wow. wow. He's really meowing. Raph likes to um, express himself. Um, Carol, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so it is a Batman thing because that would be so, um, so Neil. But right? listen, uh, I, I got to do this because uh, I do uh, want to be kindness today. I want kindness for myself All and kindness right. for everybody else. And I'm going to be about love. We do this every time. Let's like cheers it. We've never done that okay. before. I don't think we've done that yet. You know? So... You know, we're just, uh, we're here to answer your questions, but also, oh yeah. So we have this uh, Star of Life Healing System training manual, and I'm just <laughs> going to go one more time over. And what is that? So we are teaching this in New York on Long Island, uh, September 8th, 9th, 10th, I believe, right? Something like that. Or 9th, 10th, 11th. <laughs> Whatever that weekend is, that's when we're teaching. Friday, it. Saturday, Sunday, but it is September 8th, 9th, 10th, or 9th, 10th, 11th. So if you're in the Long Island area or somewhere in New York, you want to come yeah. learn um, a channeled healing system mm-hmm. readings, um, really, really uh, powerful, deep meditations that can help clear. Yeah, we got some, balance, uh, if you want to open you up. heal yourself or heal others, there's... Uh, Special healing techniques that were downloaded from Tina and I, and they are in this little fabulous book. And uh, I can't give away all my secrets, but they are in here. Okay, and little, we'll be we'll be teaching in in Canada as well, and um, and card readings. Okay, there's special all card right. readings. All right, and also. now I'm going to say scene. So now we're moving on. All right, here we go. So we're what just do we going got? to do a quick little what's going on energetically, and then post your questions. Um, and, uh, yeah, they will come up on our screen. Hey, Kim. You just came up on my screen. Wow, I can't see anybody Kim. Else. How uh, are you? And I will find them here. So Gretchen, moment, hello. We'll do that. Hi from Minnesota. Helena, hello. All right, so I'm going to find you guys here on my phone so that I don't have to look at the screen. Are you going to so tell us some stuff? Talk, yes. All right. Uh, I don't want to go too into the astrological stuff because, honestly, 
it's just exhausting, and I just can't do it today. <laughs> you know, I, I honestly, I want to just touch on that because I thought the same thing. I, we sometimes, you know, we try, sometimes like, we try not to really talk together about what we're going to talk about. We see what we get, and then we just go on and we do it. Yeah. But I felt the same way as Tina was, was talking about today. Like, mm-hmm. you know, this Cedric Olive stuff, is, uh, it, it kills you. You know, you it's get exhausted. Like, yeah. Oh, my God, the, the energies are intense. Well, you know what? The effing energies are intense every effing Whoa, day. Oh, he actually didn't throw every the F-bomb. Day. He just said effing. Every day they're yes. intense, right? What are we feeling every day? We feel emotional. We're feeling like we want to, you know. Yep. You know, uh, not that we, not that I'm a road rage person, but you have, sometimes <laughs> you have those feelings like, oh, why did I feel that way? And have that rage for a mm-hmm. second, you know. This right. stuff is going on every day, you know. Yeah. All right, so the planets are aligned. And we're screwed. Well, no, no. Um, that's the whole thing. They're not aligned. So just really quickly. Okay. Um, yeah. I know. I'm just I'm just trying to ring it back. Uh, ring around the rosy. As of tomorrow, there will be five planets going retrograde. That means they're, they're traveling the opposite direction. It's like this. Uranus is the one that will be starting tomorrow. Um, so when this happens, it's... The past stuff, it's coming up. Isn't it always coming up? But extra. Uh, it's also a chance for you to review. People will be extra tense, which is why the card I pulled is perfect for us. Zafkiel. Wow. Angel Zafkiel is the sacred lover, but Billy really likes to say The it. sacred lover. <laughs> That's how it goes. It's not sacred lover. Say it, everybody. Sacred, sacred lover. lover. That's what you got to say. Isn't that what we all want? We want that love. That's right. what you want. So don't just say love because that does – I want you to feel it. You go, love. You got to say it. Oh, you're on fire today. <laughs> so I think he just entered the bizarro world with me and maybe uh, I stepped out. So I'll step back in. So um, it says surrender, but um, the sacred lover, um, Zafkiel, this is all about romance, passion, uh, and so the flip side of that, if we're talking about opposites, is the anger, the rage. So it's like, how can we realize that's just energy coming up that wants us to balance out so that we can find what we're passionate about, so that we can find that romance. And it's not on the outside, as we always say. It's on the inside. Um, this is second chakra stuff. So this is sexuality. This is appetites. This is desires. Go ahead. So, look, she had the sacred lover card. Lover. Billy, which is just going to be the Billy show today. And then we got the sacred earth mother, right? <laughs> so the sacred earth mother. It's just saying, I just want to, because I wanted to keep going, but if I no, just wait, doesn't. if I he wait for this, her. then we can't do it. So what? Sacred earth mother, sacred lover. So what are, what are you trying to say? Hey, it's time. Hey, all these energies are uh, messed up out there, and we're feeling all this craziness, the cray, cray, cray. And uh, it's time to just... Surrender to yourself. Surrender. Be in that sacred space yeah. of that love for yourself, as Tina was saying. That's all. I was just wanted to throw that in. I was. I'm, a, I'm like the little <laughs> sidekick that wanted to throw that in real quick. You know. And scene. Sorry, One more I'm thing. So listen. I knew it goes like done. this. I just got this like uh, two seconds ago. It just came into my head. You know how like that commercial that was like uh, I don't know. I think it was Purina Cat Chow. It, was, Hurry it up. just go meow 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 right. Well, what do we got to do for ourselves? We go, love, 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 I apologize ahead of time. I brought up the bizarre world. She did it. He just really dove. I opened the door. I jumped right in, you know? We do promise when you come to our class, we are way more serious. We do try to make you laugh, but we do actually channel messages. This is for fun, you know? But to keep everybody else last in thing, and then I have your questions right here. So post them, post them. Your dreams. I don't know about you guys, but every night my dreams are wacky, like cool. Like I am with star beings and I am flying in the cosmos. I'm getting downloads. I wake up when I start writing all of these messages down. So I'm going to start writing blog posts about it. Uh, there is, there's so much going on. If you're not remembering your dreams, before you go to bed, just say out loud, I remember my dreams. Say it a few times. It might take about three nights to work. Well, this is if you want to remember, but I think you're going to want to. 
and just pay attention. Um, I even said intentions before. Uh, we're in a very active dream state. There's a lot going on. You're also receiving a lot of healing and you're traveling off to really remember your purpose so that when you wake up, you can get on it. So even though we make jokes about all this cosmic intensity, it has a divine purpose and it is for you. Okay. And then it could, it can make you a little crazy, you know? Yes. Like we are. And yeah. then you can join us in the bizarre That's world. That's right. It's good stuff, right? It'd be great if Neil was watching. He'd be like, well, Neil doesn't watch us. What else Maybe we got? Maybe we should start. Okay. So here we go. Thank you. Thelma, you always have the greatest things to add. Be in the flow of what is and don't fight any of it. That's right. Yeah. And you may feel like you're swimming upstream at times and then you just let go. Sounds so easy, right? Okay, so what's weird is some of the questions here are, were different there. It's not the same. So I'm just going to go right here. Diana, you're the first one here. I keep having setbacks financially, even though I'm trying very hard to get things in order and pay off my bills to get debt-free. Any insight? Okay. Here we go. You want to just pull one card and that way we can get to more people? That's it. Okay. One card only. I do see, Diana, and I've never seen this before, um, ever. Archangel Michael, it's like he came down and was just like, boop. I know it sounds weird. Is that, but, but it was it right here though? That's not but not on, not on Billy. <laughs> was it here? Was it here? Where was it? On you. Oh, okay. You know what it is? It's like this feeling of, can we lighten up? Like, can we, you know, there, there's a heaviness and, and, you know, it's like him being in fun, but I'm seeing, you know, like this is the Pillsbury Doughboy, you know, like that little, um, there's a little like little poke, but it's too... It's a, it's a divine book. That you know what's really, really funny? Like, I, I mean, I, she's going to give the reading, but, you know, I bring up Karina Catchell, the, the meow, meow, meow thing, and she's bringing up the Pillsbury Doughboy. I mean, come on, really? She's talking about, I'm, I'm crazy. She's the same way. It's the same oh, thing. Oh, my God. But we don't talk about the Pillsbury oh. Doughboy. When we teach a class, we don't talk about the Pillsbury Doughboy, and we don't talk about Karina Catchell. No. Meow, 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 meow. meow. Look, All right. once you enter the bizarro world, it's, there's no turning back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Lillian. Oh, hey, so Judy. Hey, Alyssa. Okay. Um, so the card for you, Diana. And it's perfect because there is all that bluish that to me is Archangel Michael. Um, it says, speak from the heart. Now, I know you're asking about setbacks financially, but this is the thing. When you're in that intensity and in that hardship, everything in your energy field is crunched and it's tight and it's like, oh my God, where's the money going to come from? And and that's where he's just like, poke, like, let go, let loose. Uh, realize that it's giving you really this divine opportunity to realize what you do have and start focusing on that. And even finding things that are fun that to make you laugh because it shifts your whole vibration. If you haven't seen the Esther Hicks Vortex um, video, watch it. It's like five minutes or at least a little clip. It's on my page somewhere. Uh, it shows you that the vortex of being in alignment with your soul and magic and all of that. Um, every moment we're given signs of we're in it or not. If you're feeling all of this intensity, you're moving away from it. So what mm. do you need to do? Let up on that. Okay. So this is Diana, right? Yes. Well, Diana, I have, um, I have a message for you and for everyone. What's happening is that we pretend that our life is in a maze right? And we get lost in the maze. And when we get lost in the maze, we have these negative thoughts and energies and whatever it may be that stick to us. Mm. And they stick to us like glue, right? I'm being serious, but I'm going to, it's, it's, oh it's, 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 it's not really a joke. So there's the Elmer's there. glue, right? And when it really gets crazy, crazy glue sticks to us and then we're screwed, right? What happens? So that, that's what happens. So those the energies, they, they, they stick on to you like crazy. I can make a joke about this, but we've been joking for set, uh, 10 minutes already. So, you know, what really happens? So we're in this maze. We think it's a maze. That's, this is where I'm getting for uh, Diana and for everyone. We think it's a maze. And then all this and negative energy just sticks to us. And then all of a sudden we can't see anymore. We can't see what we came here for. We can't see what we wanted to do. We can't see anything. Because you have all this junk and negative energy and everything. It, it blinds you, Right? So now you can't hear anymore, you can't see anymore, you can't feel anymore, right? So how, how are you going to get out of this? Well, you got to start becoming the rubber again, remember? So when those wow. negative energies hit, come at you, you're the rubber. 
bounces off and send that negative energy back to where it belongs. Let it stick to that negative energy. Don't let those negative thoughts come into you. Don't let that negative job come into you. Don't let that negative relationship come into you. Don't let those things happen, right? So, you know, easier said than done, but once you can unlift the those negative thoughts that are from your eyes, then you can see again. Once you let, get to take them out of, the, of your hearing, you can hear again. And most of all, the most important thing, once you lift those negative energies from your heart, you can feel again. And that's very important. And then the maze isn't the maze anymore. Then what is it, Tina? What's Mary Magdalene's... Uh, uh, the labyrinth. The labyrinth, right? Because you when you have the labyrinth... You can't get lost in a labyrinth. You, you, you don't can get, always get lost in a maze. But a right. labyrinth is designed to constantly, even though you're coming around, bring you to the center, bring you to your heart. That's right. So then you always... You're walking the path of your being where the maze is you're lost at all times in your life, right? The maze is lost all times. But once you can see, hear, feel, when you walk the labyrinth, there's always an exit point. All, all the beings, the star beings and the angels, all they want you to do is walk your path. Don't let anybody else walk the, make you walk a path that you never wanted to. So that was for you, Diana. That was for everybody. Okay. Um... Here we've got Carol. Carol says, I would appreciate a card for my daughter who is struggling. Um, I saw you posted. Is she struggling with depression? I don't remember. I don't know if you even posted it. Who is this again? Um, I'm sorry. Carol. Carol. Carol is asking for her daughter. I think you posted last week, but we didn't get to questions. But, um, okay. I actually don't want these cards. I want a different one. Well, you All can right. choose. We have plenty of card decks down here right now. So this is interesting. I pulled these cards earlier, and I even said to Billy, I'm like, I don't think this is for, I don't know what this is for. And now I realize that it's, you know, oh, thank you, Carol, uh, depression and obsessive worrying. Okay, so this is so interesting. These are the cards that I pulled. And if you notice, I didn't show them before. One, stay strong. I'll go over the moment. And then look at this. Angel of Strength. And oh, look at that. The guy's on the cliff, and there's that angelic being reaching up. Now, what I see is that it's like she stopped reaching up. The angel's there. They're all right there. And I know from suffering from depression myself, sometimes it's just exhausting to even, like, ask for help. And, um, and so, first and foremost, I want to say that the help is there. And now it's a matter of just providing a space for her to be able to reach out. Um, yeah. I also see a lot of stuck energy. And, you know, it makes sense because depression, what that is, is that something is not being expressed. So um, I would love for her to be talking to someone, anything to be just not letting it all um, come on the inside. And movement, I'm seeing that there needs to be movement so that there, there is that climbing. Uh, I do see not only Archangel Michael around her, but I see um, Master Hilarion around her. And he's a very powerful, um, uh, I was going to say Archangel, uh, Ascended Master, right. who really helps release those heavier energies, those negative energies. And so somehow it's like she's accumulated them and they're in her field. And we want to like help her to release that. And so holding the space and bringing these beings in can help that. What do you got? I didn't know you, no, I just so you got I, so quiet. No, I'm just uh, listening to you. Okay. You know? Mm hmm You know, the whole thing with, with depression is that it, it, they, there's so much support needed. Because when, you know, your daughter or anybody's children or whatever it may be, your, your husband's, your spouse's, whatever it may be, is that the support is really important because when you're in that state of depression, you... You don't know how to get out of it at all. I got to be honest with you. It's so very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where people who are in depression, they don't really get it. You know, they'll be like, come on, you know, what's wrong with you? Or whatever, you know, I'm just mm -hmm. throwing stuff out there. What's wrong, you know, say what's wrong with you? Why can't you get out of this? Because mm -hmm. a lot of they don't even have, they don't, the person in depression doesn't even know. It, it, they need a light, they want the lifeline. But they don't even know how to ask for help. You right. Know I mean? And if you've never suffered from extreme depression, you don't get it. 
Correct. You know, we've even talked about that where like yeah. I was in such a low place. Like he'd be like, just go work out, just get, you know? And it's like, yeah. you, you don't understand like where right. it's this, you know, so oops, we lost it. Okay. Um, so it's, it's really, what was your card? Did you show your card? Well, it's just the card that, uh, I have, it's moving towards the light. So, right. So basically when I say that those lifelines that people need when they're in depression, it's up to us or, or the people who are surrounded by the person who is in depression to keep, to throw all those lifelines out over and over and over again. So you can pull them out of that darkness and try to get them to move towards the light. And the best thing you, you can know? do is keep seeing her in the light. Yeah. When you visualize her in light or anyone, if you guys know anyone suffering from depression, and I'm sure you do because a lot of people go in and out of it. Uh, the best thing you can do is see them, surround them in light. Even if you do it in your mind and your intention, it sends out a ripple effect that surrounds them in light. And that is a form of prayer. It is a form of healing. Healing, you don't have to be a healer. You're holding the space for them because they cannot hold it for themselves. That's right. And Carol, it's your daughter, so you're constantly seeing it. The best mm. thing you can do whenever you, you're, you're in the depression and worrying energy is just see her not in that. See her um, powerful and see her shining her, um, her light for the world to see and holding that space. Right. And you, even like we talked before, you can, see her, you can see her in the light of walking her path. Like that labyrinth, right? Not in the maze, you know. See her walk through right. this oh, this circle and then come right out, because maybe that's where she's right now. Maybe mm -hmm. she's lost in her labyrinth in this darkness. But if you you know project for her or even you know that walking through this labyrinth to walk out and see the light, mm -hmm. you know, because that's what that whole card was about. Just you know, move towards the light. Something that seems so easy, it's so hard for all of us to move towards the light, you know. But that's what it's all about. Thank you, Alyssa. She says, I have taken class with them. They do make us laugh, but no Pillsbury Doughboy. All right. That's good. Thank you. Well, at, least, <laughs> at, least, at least somebody's got to tell the truth out All there because, right. you know, they might think we're crazy. And then Carol says, yes, so wonderful. She does let me do any work on her, but now I will envision it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the vision is really going to be important. Anybody yeah. out there, you know, anything that anyone needs help on, the best thing you can do is see them in a space that they don't need help, that the help's already there. Mm. That's prayer. That's right. So anyone asking, oh, what can I do? What can I? Yes, you're going to feel helpless because you can't fix it. And there's probably not much you can do, but you can be in a state mm -hmm. where you see them and you hold that vision for them because they can't hold it for themselves. Because you're holding the space now for them, which they, yes. they feel they can't even do anymore. Right. Because they're in that state of depression. That's prayer. That's healing. Right. And it works. But it, it has does. to be consistent. It works fantastic, actually. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> Carol's gracious, but I like Pills Very Doughboy. Um, okay, so Jody Joe. I saw your name before and I was drawn to it. Can I please have a card? I need some career, Jody Joe. career and relationship guidance. Am I making the right choices? Thank you. I'm new here. Well, thank you for being here. I feel like I've seen you a little bit here and there before. It's hard because we don't always have things. Why do I keep grabbing those? I want these. Okay. Jody Joe, these are for you. I got this right. I don't know. It might be backwards, but I'll just throw them all what out was there. Again, career relationship. We got okay. career and relationship. So you have. What am I doing here, Billy? Jesus. I was just gonna. Material ask harvest. <laughs> material harvest. Right. So right now you're materializing everything. You're harvesting. You know your career. You're harvesting relationships. Uh, this is. Uh, if you want something really special in your life, this takes time to harvest. We talked about this last week with the farming thing. So you're really harvesting. You know, you're creating mm. your reality now, and this is a time bring everything together and really, whatever you wish for, really want that, right? And then you got prosperity begins. So you planted the seed, like we talked about last week. If you watched last week's uh, show, and then prosper uh, prosperity begins. So now the tree of life is is growing. Your new tree of life, because you can always keep growing new ones. You know. And we talked about that last week also. That's also for you. I'm doing a quick reading here for you. And then what? once that comes to fruition, then you can have this spiritual union. And it's spiritual union not only for yourself of the career that you, you're going to have, but also the spiritual union of, uh, of this soulmate. But remember, the spiritual union a lot of times is spiritual union to, your, to yourself first. Because that's once you love yourself and you have your own spiritual union, that's when everything prospers. Right? 
That's when a relationship can prosper with someone else because you're bringing that energy, that love energy that you've created a union with to someone else and, and that energy attracts to you. Law of attraction. So remember that. That's very important. Whatever, whatever career job you want, it's a law of attraction. So put that energy out there. And um, the one thing I just wanted to add is this is the card that I got. It says, Angel of Relaxation, let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want. And Jody, what I see is that you're trying so hard and whereas that's so beautiful to like be so putting yourself out there and, and trying to make it happen, um, the opposite of, the, of, the, of that is what's needed here of being in more of a state of being and trusting in the flow and letting go a little. It's like that card, that Zafkiel card that we started with, surrender. Where can you surrender a little and trust and realize that trying too hard sometimes is that tense thing where you come up against a wall where it's trust that there is divine timing that's going to act in this. And um, I see too that I feel like the career stuff is going to happen first and then the relationship. And if you're in a relationship, it's still the career stuff that's going to really flourish first and then the relationship um, after because the career stuff's going to help you feel more centered. It's going to help you feel more fulfilled and, um, you know, like you're in, in alignment with your purpose. But you won't have to be waiting that long if you're looking for these changes, but it does require you to um, just take a little bit of a step back. And remember, take a little break. You need to go on a magic ride. I, I keep envisioning like this unicorn. So like, you know, like if you're in a dream state or if you meditate or whatever it is, give yourself a little break. You're, I, I feel like you're really, um, you put a lot of pressure on yourself. So, you know, if you're in meditation or whatever it is, take a little magical ride. I mean, that's what I keep saying. Like, this is magical ride with this unicorn. You're flying in the air so you can be feel free because I feel like sometimes you're feeling trapped. Um, Lizzie, are you still with us? Lizzie Ray? Um, we've got Joyce here. It's about it. I gotta go, team. Okay. So we got one left if you want. All right. Joyce just happened on to you. Well, you're the one going on and on and on. And now it's you're true. like, you have to go. I only have a certain amount of time. I just got to go. On to you. Um, so Joyce, Joyce. And all right. So, um, Joyce and Lizzie is here. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're going to do this. And thanks for being here, Joyce. Um, okay, hold that card for me for a second. I'm holding you. I'm holding yeah. the card like this. <laughs> you so can nobody show it. can see. No, you can show it. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So these are your two cards, Joyce. We got friendship and we got inner peace. We'll just show them. Okay. And so the first thing that I get when I look at them for you is that there, there's an intensity around some relationships that are in your life. I'm drawn to the moon that's above her head. So these, these moons that we're having, we're in the pre-eclipse season. We've got um, a full moon coming up and then a new moon and a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse. They're all about change and transformation. So there's a lot that's like turbulent around you and it's causing what seems to be like people acting out and it's just, it's really for you to just stay centered. It's for you to, you know, as corny as it may sound, be a friend to yourself first and foremost before being quick to react to everything that's happening around you. And then we got inner peace. Um, when you can be in that state of peace, it doesn't matter this drama that's happening around you. It doesn't matter what anybody else is thinking or saying or what they're reacting because you have this strong center. And so as you start to, Witness these changes, literally do that. Just witness them, just observe them. Try not get hooked or engaged in them. Uh, if this hasn't happened already, just be mindful that it could be starting to shift around you. Okay? I would say also put, um, to ground yourself and to stabilize yourself, um, put yourself in the Merkaba. Hopefully, I don't know if you know what that is, but if you look up the Merkaba, it's a geometric shape. Put that in, and if you do have crystals, that's a, that's a good idea. If you actually. do, if you do have crystals, uh, I would really recommend for you that you put uh, uh, like like six crystals. Put that in the shape of the Merkaba. Sit inside that, and you can really you'll be able to ground yourself a little bit more and stabilize because uh, everything right now is like it's shaking. Like that's what I, in my head. I just in my head I see like like everything's like this. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, so and I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's that's what I got. So the Merkaba thing will help you stabilize. Hang on there, Billy Rock Camp. I'm trying. Um, 
Do you feel him? He's like, oh, I said all I had to say, and now I gotta go. Hey, come back into the bizarro world with me. Let's go. Um, Lizzie Ray and her baby Adam. Um, I want to pull a card for you, love. It's, right. it's so it's great to have you. Oh, and hey, Nicole. Oh, my gosh, you guys. If you don't follow Nicole Oman, um, you need Hello, to Nicole. go to her page. Um, she just had a little baby, too. Oh, yeah. Little baby girl. Um, Beautiful. Go follow her, and she's doing on Saturdays. Um and then popping on, and she does a lot better with astrology than I do. <laughs> so the stuff I didn't say before, go and um, it's Nicole Oman, O M A N. Go fi find her page. Lizzie Ray. Okay. Wow. Here we go. Lizzie Ray Rose. I love it. So here we go. Yeah, Lizzie. She, she's a. Uh, oh my gosh, she is a priestess. She is a, a wow. fairy. She's amazing. <laughs> I love her. All right, so we got let go, and then look, there's like this being letting a, a dove kind of fly out. And now, what were you asking about? Um, let's see, it was something about, let me find it real quick. I'm trying to stay quiet, Tina said I talk too much during this one. No, oh my gosh, don't be sensitive, go, go, go. No, I don't really Integrate know the, the next level was. of spiritual growth and expansion. Okay. Wow. All right, so I got fulfillment of wishes. Which I really love because if you see like that's the, you know, the, the, you see the wise, it's not even a man, it's a woman. So wise woman, priestess, whatever you want to call it, right? And then, and then she has a chest and it's your chest of wishes, right? So when you open up that chest, take out what you wish for and bring it to fruition, you know, bring, bring it out into, the, into your world. Remember, mm -hmm. everybody's world is different. Bring it out into your world. And the, the expansion, Lizzie, like it. It's already there. And I know you know this, but it's like I'm just reminding you. The expansion, I just see it as like flower petals. Oh, this is really interesting. I'm getting the goddess bumps. Um, flower petals in your cells, vibrating and opening up. And I know that makes sense to you because you do all the tinctures and potions and all that great stuff. Uh, and I see this new level of the plants and the the nature around you true. communicating so mm -hmm. it's like you know the way that they come it, it's it's like this whole deeper level that is on the inside she's going yes fairy yeah. godmother thank That's you right. yeah. uh and i know your little boy's a, a part of it too and how the expansion even though it's an expansion of your aura on the outside on the inside it's mirroring that like i said with these flower petals um opening so when you even go into meditation inside or outside, whether your eyes are open or closed, it's just knowing that it's vibrating in your cells and it's already giving it to you. So it's mm. not anything you have to even figure out or sort out. It's just right. there and it's a knowing. It's, and when you try, sorry. No, no, I just want to get, it's, it's like Tinkerbell. That's what I keep saying. Oh, okay. and, and you know how that, that, that fairy dust and like she just goes like this and, and poof and then everything is there to happen. So when every, I've, I've never met you before, but I just keep saying Tinkerbell and the fairies and this and it's so all her. this magical <laughs> stuff that's happening. That is right? her. Yeah. And I can't get it out of my head, so I'm like, I just uh -huh. wanted to say this one little thing. You can keep going. No, no, but no, that's no, what no. I got for you. And it's like, like she said, everything is already there. Yeah. You know, just keep spreading that love. You know, we, we could call it, let's call it Lizzie Ray Rose uh, fairy dust. That's what <laughs> I think, right? And um, and the last thing, this is for everyone, you guys, if you're listening. I mean, you know, she has a gift of, of you know, what she's able to do with, the, with plant life and nature and, and, um, and the priestesses. That was the other thing. These priestesses, these goddesses, which, as you know, are such a part of this specific time right now, they're even coming out more to assist you. Hmm. Uh, and so even just my reminder, because I know you know that, of that. Of inviting them in um, I'm seeing too there's gonna to be new names that people don't know about that have to do with everything that you do and so it's gonna be something that you know comes through you that expands your work so can you feel him like lifting? it's time to grasp it <laughs> all right remember everything has been planted right we planted everything last week right and that's you know with all the stuff that's going on in the universe right now so you've these seeds have been planted for I don't know, since you've been born. And all they're there, or they're there for you to shine your light on those and everything can keep happening for you. That's the, that's the main thing that needs to be done. Oh, she's you know? it's so helpful. This is spot on. You know? 
So that's what you have to do. You have them all there. Everything's laid out. The, the work has been done. Now the hardest part is for you to move forward and walk the path and, and go to those places to make them grow. Oh, wow. I mean, just got us bump central. She just said, I've been worried about having new names for council members and worried no one has ever heard about them. This is so helpful. Yeah, aren't we always so worried about yeah. if things that, you know, what if I come out with something new? Yeah. It's new, but it isn't new. It's because no one's heard about it. Mm. And so it's like, that's where I just say, go, go, go for it. And that's so exciting. And I see so many of you guys are on. Eddie's here and Mary. For some reason, it's just popping up now. Um, and I know some of you are, are, if we didn't get to you, you guys, um, don't get upset. We go with who we're guided to. That's it's right. not like I'm like, ooh, I'm going to pick. Alicia, because she put a thumbs up, you know, and thank you. Oh my gosh, Alicia, that's my cousin. <laughs> to the reason, see, I'm drawn to it. Hey, um, but if we didn't get to you, it's just, you know, it's all, all divine. And the answers that we do get to, or the questions we do get to is because the angels are wanting us to answer that because then it touches all of you. Okay. It's all about touch and love, Tina. Right. And so the, the very last thing is because Lillian just asked about our class Okay. Um, I'll post it. It's Angelic Soul Star Counseling. It's here on Long Island. It's here we go. Here he goes with his props. Come on, props are great, aren't they? Yeah. It is here on Long Island. It's uh, it's right. It's it's that weekend. I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's September eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. <laughs> it's you one know, of those. But hey, it's weekend, one of those. Yes. It's that weekend, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, and uh, it's it's really powerful. We've taught this uh, in um, uh, in Japan. I couldn't get that out. We taught it in Japan. We taught it in Mexico. Mexico. Um, uh, uh, Canada, Canada. And uh, we've also done it in Texas. Mm -hmm. California. Wow, yeah. And uh, All over. So anyway, it's going to be here on Long Island if you want to join us in September. And uh, we'll have other dates and, and locations as well. And of course, you guys, if you'd like a personal private reading that's catered just to you, um, these readings that we do tend to be a little bit more general so that everybody can... Um, mm receive messages and healing from them. Uh, but when it's a specific reading, um, it's catered to whatever it is that you need. And the healings are very profound. The healings that we do, uh, we extract what needs to be extracted, right? To be able to move forward. And there's a lot of stuff that we keep inside our body that needs to get taken out. So, you know, give us a shot. And we'll definitely, oh my gosh, California is my home away from home. So I'll definitely be back there. I try to go back as often as I can. And yes, we are going to do an online version too at some point. So, thank you guys for coming on. Um, we went way over. You guys, Remember, don't be the glue. Don't be Elmer's glue and don't be crazy glue. Because if you get into the crazy glue, you're screwed. All right? <laughs> um, I know I keep saying one Bounce last off. thing. Bounce those negative thoughts off. I know I keep saying one last thing, but there is a way somewhere on your page, your phone to click to be notified when we're live. I don't right. know how to find it right now, but I know I see a lot of you guys coming on right now. Oh, you're welcome, you guys. Um, there is a way to do it. And once I can figure out, I can let you know. But if you just look somewhere, it'll say uh, notified, and then you'll know when we're live. We've been trying to figure it out. We think that not on the business page and just on, on, the, a, personal on a personal page, you guys get notified. We're not really sure, but that's just our theory. If anybody knows, let us know. Facebook's so bizarre, it's so weird. So, um, we love you. All right, We're everybody, here for you. Have a great Wednesday. I'm going to go back to work now, just so you know. He's going to go back to work. Yeah. And, uh, and um, please share this so that other people can hear these beautiful yeah. messages. Yeah, sure. It's, it's, uh, it's fantastic stuff. And uh, I can't wait to uh, do this uh, next Wednesday. <laughs> love you guys. See you guys later.